guys welcome back to our channel i hope you guys are doing better than i am right now i'm actually sick at the moment so i thought i'd do a sick day routine guys i've not really filmed a sick day video before i think jess has done them before with the kids and for herself but i thought i would do one because it's something to film while i'm sick so i hope you enjoy it if you do leave a thumbs up subscribe and without further ado let's get into it so i've just been feeling really rough over the last couple of days and i'm not really sure why i've been quite stressed with my schoolwork started and everything but i've had to have two days off school so far because i've been feeling so ill and then last night i was sick and then i've been sick again this morning which is just really not fun at all so i've just been sitting in bed relaxing i think jess has just got back from doing the school run for amy so i've just been chilling on my laptop for a bit you know watching a bit of netflix and that kind of thing hi everyone so i've just finished doing the school run and i've just given alice some breakfast i give her her breakfast when we get back because it's easier so she's just had a little bit of baby porridge and you've enjoyed that haven't you there if you'd like to see alice's routine by the way guys there's a video we've done of her night routine and we will do an updated school morning routine at some point soon but right now madison is in the bedroom she's off school again because she's just so run down and we're not really sure what it is luke's asked me to keep an eye on her and talk to her and stuff just to make sure that she's not too stressed because honestly i think she's stressed with school the amount of pressure that schools put on children of madison's age is just crazy i mean she's 17 she's doing her a levels i understand they're important but she's just so stressed about it but first i'm going to make myself some breakfast come in madison it's me are you okay how are you feeling I don't feel great, Jess. I'm just watching some Netflix on my laptop. Okay, well, no schoolwork while you're sick because you need to recover. Don't worry, I'm not doing schoolwork. Would you like a glass of water or anything like that, some toast? I don't think so because I've just been sick and I don't want to be sick again. But maybe a piece of dry toast would help. Okay, just a small one. Good. And did your dad do your temperature before he went to work? Yeah, he did, and he said it's a little bit high. He thinks I've got a flu or some kind of virus. You probably caught something at school when you was out with your friends. It's easily done, especially at this time of the year. Yeah, I know you're right, Jess. Okay, well, I'll be back in a minute with a little bit of toast for you and some water. Okay, so I've just made Madison some toast and a glass of water, and then... I've got a cheese toasty, which I'm very excited about. Right, guys, so Jess has just brought me in some water and some toast. I really don't feel like eating this, but my dad and Jess are always going on about when you're sick, eating something and staying hydrated. And I know it's important, but I just, I don't really fancy it. So I don't think I'm going to eat all of it. And then I'm probably going to have a nap for a bit. I think Jess has got a friend coming around or something. I'm not too sure, but I'm going to have a nap for a bit now, I think. That was so nice. I really fancied that. It was amazing. But now I've got a friend downstairs. She's just knocked on the door and it's Maria. And she said that she wanted to come around to talk to me about something. So that should be nice, shouldn't it? You can see little Elfie. Yeah, da, da, da. Oh, Maria, it's so good to see you. I feel like we've not caught up for ages. Oh, I know, Jess, I know. Oh, hello, Alice. You've grown so much. You're so cute. There's your coffee, Maria. Oh, thank you so much. And I agree. Alice is growing up so far. So are Amy and Amelia. And your little one. Hello, Elfie. How are you? I'm okay, thank you. Well, that's good to hear. I've got Madison in the other room. She's off school today. She's sick. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. Has she got a virus or something? Yes, I think so. Anyway, how have you been? What's been happening? I'm okay, thank you, Jess, but I've got a new boyfriend, Chris. I know, he seems really nice. I've seen a lot of pictures of you together online and stuff. And I met him, didn't I, a few weeks back? Yeah, and we've been getting along really well, but... I went round to Ryan's the other day to talk to him about introducing Elfie and he went crazy and I don't know what to do. Look, Maria, Ryan overreacts a lot of the time. You just have to think about what you want to do. Obviously, you want to introduce Chris. Do you think I should go behind Ryan's back? I'm not saying that. I'm just saying you need to do what's best for your relationship. And obviously, your son 
is going to be involved because you're in a relationship with Chris and eventually they do have to meet. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking of introducing them regardless. Well, that's a decision you have to make, Maria. I can't tell you to do that or not. Obviously, the, I'd let the girls meet Luke when I felt it was ready and Ryan just had to accept it, but that's me. Obviously, I had to deal with the consequences and it has caused a few problems. But I think Elfie will really like Chris. Me too. He's so sweet and loving towards people. Exactly. You just have to do what's best for you, Maria. Hi, guys. So my stepmom, Jess's friends here, Maria, I think her name is or something. Don't really know. I've been asleep for about three hours and they're in the kitchen talking about things. I'm not too sure. But I've managed to keep down that toast that I had. So that's really good news. Um, but I do still feel really rough. I've got a bad headache and everything and i'm going to take some paracetamol i think now just to help with it and stuff because it helps with the symptoms basically but my dad should be back soon with amy which is exciting and then he'll probably come in and check on me but i really don't want him to tell my mom but i think he's going to i just can't deal with it and i have had a text off with my boyfriend which has been really lovely just to check that i'm okay because he's been worried bless him but yeah, I'm just sitting here now and I'm going to watch a little bit more Netflix on my lap. Hi, I'm back from picking up Amy. Oh, hello, Maria. I wasn't expecting to see you. Yeah, I just come over to have a coffee morning with Jess. We had so much things to catch up on, didn't we, Jess? Yeah, it's been really lovely to catch up with you. Oh, that's nice. Hello, little one. Elfie's got so big, Maria. Thank you so much. Have they been playing together? Yeah, they Elfie, have. Elfie, you're here. Hello, Amy. I wasn't expecting to see you. Are you okay? I'm okay. I've been playing with Alice. She's my little sister. She's so cute, isn't she? Yes. Hello, Maria. Hello, Amy. How is school going? It was really fun. We did painting and phonics and lots of fun things and numeracy today. That's really good to hear. Elfie's so happy to see you. That's why we waited so that you could see him. Yeah, I love Elfie. I'm glad that Elfie and Amy have maintained such a close bond. It's a shame Elfie's not as close to Amelia. I'm coming around to Amelia spending time with him more because she doesn't seem violent anymore, but she's just not interested. I know, Amelia's not really interested in any other, other of her siblings. Even Amy sometimes, it's so sad. It must really upset you. Yeah, it does. I just wish Amelia's attitude was better. I think that's because of Ryan. I know, he spoils her so much. I think she just takes after her father, but her attitude towards Elfie has improved and I'm just so relieved that she's no longer so nasty to him because it was really upsetting in the beginning. I know, and I'm really sorry for the way Amelia was with him, but I did punish her severely. It's okay, Jess. Why don't I take the children into the other room so that you and Luke can talk about Madison and everything in private? Thanks, Maria. That's a good idea. Kids, go and play in the other room with Maria. Go on yeah okay then there's lots more toys in the front room anyway mommy you come in yes i'm right behind you son she had some toast a few hours ago and has kept it down as far as i know maybe she's coming out the other end now i really hope so i phoned her mum though just to inform her she's been overreacting a bit what's she been saying just that i think we need to find out if madison's pregnant but i don't think madison's pregnant do you she hasn't said anything to me and we are close. I think she'd tell me if she thought she was. Well, apparently Madison was being sick last week as well, but I don't know how true it is. And you know what she's like for over-exaggerating Madison's mum can at times. Yeah, well, maybe if her mum thinks that she needs to do a test, then she'll have to. I know, but that's not going to go down well with Madison, is it? Probably not, because she's always told us that Nathan and her have been being careful and everything. I mean, I know they're of the age of consent, but... I don't think that it'd be a good idea for her to have a child. No, and I don't think she wants one. And I don't think she's pregnant. I think it's a virus. Yeah, exactly.